This is a video on rabbit care. Um, if you get a breed rabbit, one thing you should know is that they're what's called an induced ovulator, which means you put them in with the male and then when they're bred they will drop an egg. Eight to twelve hours later they need to get bred again so that they can be fertilized. So you can plan when you want your baby bunnies because uh, 28 to 31 days after breeding they will have babies. So you want to provide a nest box for your bunny. I actually leave the nest box all the time and use it as a hay feeder um, because they need hay and they need a, they need rabbit pellets to supplement the nutrition from the hay. Uh, just grass hay will do. So you want to have a box for them, a nesting box. That's, this is actually a drawer and it works great. Um, that's you know anywhere from four inches tall to right on up to eight or ten and this is where they're going to have their babies. Um, sometimes they'll try to use it for a bathroom, but you kind of want to discourage that by moving it to the other side, because rabbits will go to the bathroom in the same place in their pen pretty consistently. So, well, you also need for your rabbits, you need a nice heavy dish, not made of plastic. Rabbits need to chew. You can see she's chewed on the edge of her nest box. You want to provide them something to chew on so that they won't chew on your cage. Their teeth constantly grow, so that's why they need to chew on something. So a, a nice willow stick will do, or you can purchase stuff at the pet store for that. Also a water bottle, I actually prefer those to the dishes because they dump the dishes. But so when they have the babies, uh, they're born blind and <laughs> naked and helpless and deaf. And they all, you need to have your, some hay in there for just the starting out nesting material. And hopefully, sometimes they screw up their first batch and they don't pull hair, but they need to be able to pull hair off of their stomach. And the pulled hair acts as insulation for the babies because otherwise they can't stay warm even in 70 degree weather, they can freeze. So these are babies that were born just yesterday. They're blind and hairless, and you can see the coloration on them. But, and you can, you want to check, this is a new mom, this is her first litter. You want to check and make sure a couple times a day that they're in the box and that they're covered up because sometimes they won't know to cover them up and that they're being fed. This on this side is actually the milk you can see in its tummy. And she's taking really good care of these guys, which is really rare for a first time mom. I give them um, a break their first time. If they mess up and kill them, then, then I just let them go with that because they didn't know. So if they mess up for the second batch, then I maybe won't keep them other. But usually I give them at least one to two times, and then the third time, three strikes are out. So in about ten days, their eyes and ears are going to open, and they're going to know what's going on in the world, and start getting out of the box, and nibbling on food. You want to have food available for them. And then at four weeks, I wean, and you take them away from mom so mom can recover her body um, so that she'll be healthy again and uh, recover that fat. And at four weeks you take them away and you feed them all the food they want. And mom, while she's nursing, um, she needs to have a double ration. And I feed my seven pound rabbits a quarter to a half a cup of food a day. You, you do want to limit them on that. But that's how to take care of rabbits.